What's going on everybody? Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I got another Vegas Pro tutorial for you and in this one I'm going to be teaching you seven steps to editing GoPro or action cam footage. Seven things you can know to make your footage look awesome. If you're into video games, I got a video game channel linked in the description below, Scrapyard Plays. And if you want to see behind the scenes and vlogging and stuff like that, I also have another vlogging channel, Crayon Vlog, linked in the description below as well. So let's jump right into Vegas 17. The first tip in editing GoPro and action cam footage is to disable resample mode. By default, Vegas likes to enable resample and put it on smart resample. And what this does is it actually causes a bunch of ghosting if you're working in different types of frame rates, which when it comes to action cams and GoPros that record in high frame rates, sometimes you're going to want to slow it down. And as soon as you adjust frame rates, you're going to see ghosting just like this. Now to disable it, all you got to do is go up to file, down to properties, go over to resample mode, click it and choose disabled. Once you do that, we'll play the same thing and you'll see that there is no more ghosting and your footage will look much better. Step number two, work in the highest frame rate you possibly can. When you drag and drop your clip into Vegas, it's going to ask you, do you want to match the project properties with the clip you put in there? 99% of the time, you're going to want to say yes. I drag and drop some footage that's 240 frames per second shot on a GoPro. And you can see right here under the preview window that my project has now been changed to 240 frames per second. You can also go up to file, go down to properties and change the project settings to whatever you want in your frame rate to be right there as well. And this leads me to step number three, using the velocity tool to manipulate your high frame rate footage. You can easily add velocity to your clip by right clicking on it, going down to the envelopes and choosing velocity. Then a green line appears and you can double click and create points anywhere on that line. You can drag the line up and down or the point up and down if you want, and that's going to increase and decrease your speed. You can get extremely precise though and right click on a point and tell it what speed you want to put it to. By default, it has some suggestions around the top, but you can also click set to and manually type in a number. Velocity is a little bit to get used to, but once you do get used to it, you can create some really awesome speed ramped footage. And that kind of goes hand in hand with tip number four using Vegas' built-in super slow motion plugin. This plugin is really awesome and it comes in handy with this type of footage. It uses a temporal algorithm to estimate and produce extra frames in between where there are no frames. So let me give you an example. If I have this clip and I slow it down to 1%, you'll see that it jumps frames because it's going so slow and it's not smooth. But if I add super slow motion to this and then slow it down to 1%, you're going to see that it creates frames in between, which allows you to create insanely cool, super slow motion like this. Now for tip number five. Tip number five is adding motion blur. So because if you're shooting on an action cam and you're shooting at high frame rates, what it does is it increases the shutter speed to something really high so you can capture that really high frame rate. And what that does is that removes motion blur. So if you want to add some back to make it look more realistic, you can do that. You can do it two ways. You can do it with Vegas's built-in way. If you hold control shift and press B on the keyboard, it brings up the motion blur controls down here. Now I've never really had good luck using Vegas's motion blur controls to make realistic motion blur. So I've resorted to using real smart motion blur, which is a plugin that you could purchase. I'll link in the description below. It is a really awesome plugin that is just drag and drop realistic motion blur. So I'm gonna drag and drop it onto this clip right here and you'll see it automatically blurs it perfectly. It makes all your footage look like it was shot at the perfect shutter speed. So let me go ahead and show you a side by side comparison of this footage with and without real smart motion blur added. You can see it looks much more awesome and cinematic. Tip number six, using the lens correction plugin to make your GoPro footage not look like GoPro footage. You can actually take out the roundness in that and make it look like it was shot on a normal DSLR looking camera. This is especially helpful if you want to make your footage look more cinematic. Tip number seven, choosing the right render settings. If you didn't know, Vegas Pro 17 can render up to Cinema 8K, 240 megabit per second, 172 frames per second using its Magic's high efficiency video codec. Now this may be way overkill for most people, but you can also render in anything lower than that. So a lot of action cameras can record in 5.6K, most record in 4K, pretty much 100% of them can record in 1080p, and so you get to choose what's best for you. Typically when choosing your frame rate, you want to keep it in multiples of 24 or 30. Those provide the best results, so if you have like this 240 frames per second footage, you can either render it in 24 frames per second after you're totally done with your edits, or you can render it in 60 frames per second. 240 is divisible by both of those numbers. So if you keep it in multiples of 24 or 30, you're good to go. And there you go, seven tips that can help you make your GoPro slash action cam footage look 
awesome. If this video helped you out, be sure to shoot a like down there because that would really help me out. And if you wanted to subscribe, that'd be cool too. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all of my subscribers up there at the top. Be sure to check out their channels for some awesome content.